eyes Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't care How's it going, dudes? So I'm going to be showing you how to install InfoStar on your Armor 3 Exo or Armor 3 Altus Life server. Uh, so the first thing you're going to again do is um, buy the InfoStar um, admin menu, and I'll leave the the link in the description where you can buy it. Um, so after you have it downloaded and you have your uh, Armor 3 Altus Life server file open or folder open, you're going to want to take the Battle Eye folder from the from the InfoStar that you downloaded and put it into the main directory of your server. Since I already have it, I'm not going to um, put it back in. Or, yeah, put it back in. Um, so once you have that, go into the MP missions in your server and then go into the MP missions folder in your InfoStar that you downloaded. Then you're going to go. Then you're going to want to go to altuslife.altus in your server files and uh, drag the InfoStar underscore admin menu to HPP into the file. So once you have that done, you can go back to the main directory of your server, and you're going to want to open the server armor 3 folder. It may be named differently for you. This is an older version of Infostar. I haven't downloaded the newer version in a while. Um, I may make a new video on that, but for now it should be the same thing. So open uh, the folder and drag all of these files into the main uh, directory of your server. So once you have that, uh, you're going to want to open the at infostar underscore a3, go to add-ons, and then go to a3 infostar. Next, you're, want to, you're going to want to go to infostar config.sqf, and you're going to want to find the line, it should be line 76, that says underscore admin UID and access. So once you find this, you're going to want to go to um, to your Google and type in steam ID finder and once that loads up you're going to want to click on steam ID I slash O and you're going to want to put in your um, your steam link so mine would be the hardest bunny alive 11 and then you're going to want to click look up so then it will pop up with this and you're going to see that where it says Steam ID 64, you're, you're going to want to copy this, and then you're going to want to go back to the Notepad and um, paste the UID in here. This is going to give you access to all of these um, things in the admin menu. If you want to, uh, for instance, make a moderator um, thing where you put like moderators in here, uh, you can remove what you don't want them to do for instance you can just delete delete this if you don't want them to have that but make sure if you delete uh, this line for example you remove the comma at the end uh, so I'm not going to do that but that's just an example of what you can do so then you're going to save the file and uh, go back uh, to the main directory of your server and you should have an infostar.de a3 um, so you're going to want to put that also into the main directory of your folder. I already have that. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. Um, we're going to want to go back into the Infostar A3 add-ons and go back to the Infostar config. Uh, you're going to want to, um, where it says online, or yeah, online 31, it says mod can be epoch, altus life, coth, wasteland, or other. Uh, if you're doing an Altus Life server, you're going to want to put in Altus Life in this um, in this line right here, as I have so, uh, and you're basically done. So after you're done with that, it's pretty simple to download uh, and install. You're basically done. You can start your server up uh, in tadst.exe. So let me open that real quick. So you're going to want to go into mods. You're going to want to enable Infostar, A3, and BattleEye. If these don't pop up, um, just click Save and then Yes, and it should automatically re refresh it. Um, and then you can do it from there. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. You would start up your server. Let's do this quickly. Um, make sure you have these also enabled. We did this in the last episode. Um, everything should be basically the same um, 
let's start up the game. If you have any mods installed on the server, as I have right here, you're going to want to enable them in your um, Arma 3 launcher, um, as I have right here. So the server is starting up, uh, and my game is starting up. Don't worry if you get this error if you have the mod installed. Um, while this is loading, could you guys please give me a like? It helps me a lot on the videos. Uh, it shows me that you guys appreciate the videos and you guys want to see more videos. Um, so the server started up and my game is still loading up. So um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them um, in the comments below. I got lots of great comments in the last episode. I really appreciated some of them. Well, most of them, yeah. Um, one of them really, you know, got me. I really liked it. Um, so my game's starting up. This is taking up quite a bit to load up. I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, but yeah, if you're installing mods, uh, you're going to want to enable them in here as well. And um, yeah, so let's go in multiplayer here we go start it up so yeah if you guys have any uh, questions as I said before I'll just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you so let's go into for instance public slot, slot cop 1 and let's load in um, so if you guys want to see any other videos just also let me know in the comments and I'll try to make some videos on it um, I really enjoy making videos, so, you know, don't be afraid to ask um, of a tutorial. I'll try to make a tutorial on your request. On your request. Um, also, uh, tell me uh, if you guys like the new intro and outro. Um, and, yeah. So, we're, we're just about into the game. And, uh... This shouldn't be taking too long for you guys. I don't know why it's taking a lot longer than usual for me. Um, maybe because I'm recording, but uh, I don't know. Wow, this is taking a long time. Also, um, in the next episode, I'm probably going to show how to make a Minecraft server and uh, how to port forward an Arma 3 server and a Minecraft server. Um, pretty simple, not that hard. I'm going to make one tonight. Um, oh gosh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see if I missed anything. Oh, oh that's wrong. Uh, Alright, here we go. Um, I shouldn't have missed anything. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, make sure you don't edit anything in the Infostar admin menu.hpp. Um, that um, I think he said he doesn't want anyone um, changing anything in here, the um, creator of Infostar. Um, but it's basically just all the uh, tags and uh, like what what you can spawn and stuff. Shouldn't really mess with that. But here we go. Let's go continue. Should quickly load me in. Let's spawn at Kavala and. Uh, we're going to want to wait until it says that Infostar loaded in at the bottom in the, um, in the, uh, what's it called, the, the chat box at the bottom. It does take a bit, I don't know why it takes a bit for me, but, uh, I don't know if it will take this long for you guys. But once it loads up in just a couple seconds, um, you're going to want to press the F1 button. And that's going to open the menu. Let's, let's see if it loads up here any second now. It should, because it's been working for a bit now. So I'm confident that this will um, load up. If you guys know why it takes such a long time to load up, here we go. Uh, please let me know in the comments. 
Alright, so it says successfully loaded in, welcome admin, loading menu, menu loaded, press F1, default key to open it. So let's press F1 here. Alright, as you can see, this is the menu, the Infostar menu. Um, you can uh, you can click on people's names and you can basically do whatever you want with them. There's lots of these uh, things here. You can give them god mode. You can... You can uh, have no recoil for your weapons, uh, but in the spawn menu at the top, you can spawn anything you want. For example, let's spawn in uh, a leopard. It's a tank. Uh, oh, oops! That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, I guess the tank blew up. Uh, let's go over here and try to spawn it. All right. Let's go to spawn menu. Let's spawn a stomper. As you can see, it's spawn a stomper. I'm not sure if you can drive it, but you can definitely get into it. Uh, if you want to delete it, just uh, look at it and press delete twice. It should delete it. Uh, same with weapons, you can... Oh my gosh, what was that? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can spawn weapons as well. Uh, for example... Uh, you can go to items, and I don't know why, but in the weapons, it also has all the clothes, so, um, it may be my version, I need to update my version, but, um, yeah, but you can basically spawn weapons, they spawn right in front of you, or over there, I th oh no, wait, I think they spawn in your hand, uh, let me try that again, spawn menu, uh, there we go, ooh, alright, here we go, yeah, so, spawns in front of you. I'm gonna quickly go check this out and I'm gonna end the video. <laughs> what is going on over here? Things are exploding. Um, well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, also share uh, these videos with your friends. Helps me a lot. Uh, with that being said, Harsh Money sign off and I'll see you guys later. See ya.